<laughs> Are you all enjoying love so far? Right, so let's do some solving now. So this is lesson three. So this is the first bit for lesson three. Right, so it says all the terms are given in log form. So let's try and compare. So if I take the two up, I've got log to base a of x squared is log to base a of 9. So if you look, that bit there is the same. So that means then that x squared is 9. So we've got x is plus or minus 3. Works. So if I put my, even though we say log positives for log, if I put minus 3 in for x and square it before taking log, I'm okay. And there's one there for you to do. So when you take up the 3, so x cubed is the same as 8, so x will be 2. Okay, good. So I did just click that and want to delete that box. Yeah. All right, so let's have a look at this one then. So if I take the 2 up, I've got log of x squared is log of x plus 6. The bit in front is the same, there's nothing extra. So that's telling me then that x squared is x plus 6. So what I've got though here is a quadratic. So I've got x squared minus x minus 6 is 0. I put it in poly, so 1 minus 1 minus 6. That gives me x is minus 2 or x is 3. Right, now then, uh, let me slightly think about that. No, actually, I want that as just a positive up here. So I'll add there. x is 3. It's an argument for if I put the minus 3 in and square it first, it's fine. But if I put the minus 2 in here, it's not so worky worky. So we'll go with that. So as x, put it in 0, x is 3. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, sometimes you just cheat to make things work. Well, there are workarounds the fact that the log graph is only positive. So, but we'll stick with that. But if it's, if it's um, negative, I even know it. There's more to it than that. Then. So one for you to have a go at. So you've got a log of x squared is log of 2x plus 3. Put them together. I get a quadratic. Move it all over. Solve it. And then just take the positive. There. Yeah, we'll just take the positive. Uh, C. So we're going to combine these first. So that would be log of 2x minus 3 times x minus 2. And then put that up there, log of x squared. Just a reminder, the log to base 10, you don't need to write as log to base 10. You can just write it as log. So log to base 10 is just log on your calculator. There was a bit of a worry when we first started doing the linear scheme. Because the mark schemes very clearly said log to base 10. But I asked the uh, exam board last year, actually, and they're like, yeah, it's fine. It's always been fine. It was just the wording of one mark scheme, which kind of put people off. So the log bit, I can just ditch. You could anti-log it. There you go. And then what have I got here? So I've got 2x squared. Minus 7x plus 6 is x squared. So take over the x squared. I get that. So then I've got x is minus 2 or x is 3. So as there. One for you to do. So join them together first. 
and take the two up. It's not letting me delete it. Yeah. So join them together first, get rid of the logs, expand your brackets, rearrange it, get your numbers. Now then, look, see, here's a thing. Can, there's a contradiction here with this wording. Because if I put in the minus 3 into this one here, as it stands like that, the minus 3 wouldn't work. But if it was the x squared, it does work. Whereas here, if I put the half in, so put the half in there, I'd have 1 and a half minus 2. So in here, I'd have like 3 lots of a half minus 2, and that would be minus a half. And I, d I can't do log of a negative number, um, which is why. And the same with this one. If I put it into the x minus 1, things are going to go wrong. Um, so that's why it won't do it. So luckily, I think we're at the end of the other views. Was there one more? Was there it? No, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So them are the ones now. Is type 2 or do it on a different... Oh, let's have a look. Do it on a different video. Okay. Right, bye-bye.